drop it under the shaft line. Take away your hands work out. Still doing that. The shaft's a little under plane there. It's a little too shallow going back. But here's where you, you drop the club under right there. The club's too far behind you there. That's when it's going to hook big time. See the pass six degrees to the right. We got to open your shoulders and we got to get more aggressive with the rotation of your trunk because your right shoulder is going down too much. Your hips are sliding and the club's getting behind you. Right. So what I got to get you to feel is that you're hitting a, a slice, that you're trying to cut it because this path is too much into out. For an iron shot, for you to save it, because you need a weak grip, because you you don't have your hips don't move, they don't they stall out. So you're going to need a weaker left hand, right hand grip, and you're yes, so that the face look, Bill, at the top your club face is still a little shut, just a little bit. I mean it's not much, but we need a more neutral face for you, Be, uh, you know a face that's more like. Instead of at a 45 degree angle like this, we want it to be a little more like that. And the only way to do it is to get the takeaway better where your hands don't work out. Keep the cup in the left wrist and then uh, feel like uh, you got a little early extension there. But we're going we're gonna to get this takeaway down. I don't like how the club gets under. See how it gets inside there. Right. So keep your hands in. Keep the club out. And hold the club in your right hand. See how you don't have the club in your right hand? You don't even have it on. I know, but you got to hold on to it to some degree. You got to have, a, you know, you can't. 